guys, I'm Chris Bowden, and welcome to The Geek Group. We're here today with the great and powerful Andrew Harwood. Hello. Batman. Yep. I don't know if we can call you a Batman in videos, because, like, copyright and stuff. It's just a name. I don't know. All right, we're here for the latest in our series of videos for American Forge and Foundry, AFF. Today, we have the Model 961 polypropylene shop cart. Yay. This is, this is kind of a cool video. Like, there's backstory for this one. Right. Because we made the, the first three. Right. And when the second one went out, one of their directors in the company was like, these guys need a shop cart. So he was like, we're sending you a shop cart. So, okay, cool, bonus video. I get to use my, my nifty new toy. Nifty new toy. Yeah. All right, do it. See, Ooh, it works great for this. Pretty. You got to catch the thing. All right. That's, that's the extent of the abilities of my nifty new toy. That's, that's all it's got. <laughs> Don't, hold on. What? Sit it down. What? Watch. Oh, hey, how about that? Now, see, this would be cooler. And they can do this. Guys, guys at AFF, look at their logo. Here, see how their logo's like a diamond? Yeah. Okay. Well, they need to, on the bottom of the cart, these are diamonds, yeah. and they need to put like the AFF logo in each one of these. Because they totally see the bottom all the time. It's the kind of nerdy thing I would do if I was a guy designing the thing. All right, this is obviously the end hit. Okay, I know, I know what to expect now. Yeah, I've this... seen this kind of cart before. Yeah. Casters, little stands. I, kn I knew it was a roll around cart, that's all I knew. This is a substantial little cart. Yeah. He's a hardcore. Do you have a bag of hardware? It's probably in there. I do not have a bag of hardware. Oh, it's rolling around. Okay. Found it. This is cool because with this one we can knock things around and not have to worry about it. Right. All right. All right do you I'm going to need do you have one wrench. Or are they all the same? They look all the same, and there's a screw as well, so I'll quickly grab your wrench. All right, so we got four, 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 four. Right. And I noticed we had four of the square holes here. Um, the rest is all just screws, washers, nuts, nothing special. So really one tool and a screwdriver. So, yeah. All right, where's the instructions? Right here. There's an order of operations, and we're going to do this properly because we are trained professionals. Cart, know how to put it together now. Got it. Are the top and bottom shelves the same? They look like it. No, this one's different. Yeah, it is. So that's the bottom, that's the top. This goes with here, and the rest is exactly what you expect. Um, Neat. That side down. Yep. All right. Um... Oh, we need a mallet. We need a rubber mallet. Keep work area clean. Cluttered areas invite injuries. Grab them out real quick. All right, are you prepared? I am prepared. All right, first thing, keep work area clean. Cluttered areas invite injuries. No, you can't do that yet. No. We're not, oh, we're not we, anywhere we, near we, that we, step. The area is clean. No, you've got schmutz. We got cluttered areas invite injuries. Somebody bothered to write this down. We're going to follow the manual. All right, all, right. all right, observe work area conditions. Keep area well lighted. I think we're good. We're in the middle of a video set. We're okay for lighted. All right. Store idle equipment. When not in use, the service cart must be stored in a safe and clean location. Always lock up products and keep out of reach of children. I think a lawyer was involved in this. So. This smells like lawyer. Use the right product for the job. There are certain applications for which the service cart was not designed. Do not modify the service cart and do not use a service cart for a purpose for which it was not intended. Us? <laughs> Ever? You would no. never use a product no, in a no. manner inconsistent with its labeling. 
Check for damaged parts. Looks fine. Um, replacement parts and accessories. Do not operate product if under the influence of alcohol or drugs. It's a card. It's a service card. It, it's a lawyer, it's, definitely. Wow. This lawyer was getting paid by the word. That's right. what it was. Okay. Um, use eye protection. You're wearing glasses. You're fine. Um, do not exceed the product's maximum load capacity of 500 pounds. I think we're good. Okay, we're fine there. Um, do not allow children to play on, stand on, or climb upon the service cart. The service cart is not for carrying people or animals. Darn. Yeah. Always check hardware and assemble parts after assembling. All connections should be tight and hardware tightened. Think about that for a minute. Always distribute objects in the cart, in the service cart evenly. So that's that's not instructions. That's that, just that's, that's just warnings. They're, the entirety of the instructions are pictures. Is is it's all graphic? Okay, well, cool. That's easy. Yeah. There's weird numbers here that don't make any sense. All right. The instructions. Not so much. No. Just. It's okay, I figured it out. All right. I'm just going to do it, okay? And if we get it wrong, it's going to happen live on the internet. I need that. I need, I need that a minute. It says I'm supposed to smack that. There you go. Yeah. All right. Wow, really? This one's a little. This is what happens when you don't follow the instructions. <laughs> Screw up a three car funeral. Watch your fingers. There we go. There. It's a manly cart. Totally. Well, this has to go on there. You want right, to do the but we first? want to do, because we got to go through all, right. all of that. Oh, hey, look at that. I'll stuff them through, you screw them up. All right. Well, this is nice. Like it was made for it. You're going to put the wheel in place. Oh, yeah, I got to do that. <laughs> I got excited. Are you? I, I got a little excited. Okay, are you on? We'll see. Hang on, let me get this. There get you the go. One in. Try it now. All right. You good? Yeah. All right. Okay, right. there's all four. All right, now I'll start putting Washers? Uh, just a little lock washer, lock washer, which I got in this one. Okay. Just get them on finger tight. Yeah, that's what okay. I'm doing. You know what we need this. for this? What? Impact. That might be too much. Yeah, I don't think it'd be too much, and I think it'd be a lot faster than... Because we did the other video, and it's tedious. Yeah. Okay, we, we can do better. And I know you got the impact sitting right over there. I'm just chilling. And, and but it's not going to be the right, right size. There. We got the, oh. the socket. You can put the socket on the impact bit. Yeah, well, I had still we have to go get a bit. So go get a bit. All right, then. I can do this for a minute. Well, you I'm still got You still got a hand. Tighten everything. Right, go, go. Off you go. All right. I'll, okay. I'm being entertaining right now. This is me being entertaining. Comment if you're entertained. that better? Alright. Below you.
This is the most exciting video we've ever done. Oh, wow. It's really cool how this, like, it just sucks together when you do that. And, like, everything just falls into place. If you put one of these in your shop, don't judge it until after the screws are tight. Bottom first. Sure. Ah! Go in your hole. There you go. of these. Right. <laughs> this is an awesome little cart. I was bored hanging back there all alone. We got, we got to tilt it up yeah. a little. Here. Do you imagine if they made this one out of quarter inch steel, like their table? Oh, man. It'd be awesome. I like this just the way it is. It's, the design of it is wicked strong, like for anything we're ever going to want to put on it. Right. And it's a lot lighter than it would be if, if it was steel. And as the guy who has to shoot a lot of videos while you're rolling stuff around, this is quieter. Because we've never had issues with that before. Hang on. Get in the hole. Terrible. You got to get them, because it's got the little square head, they got to be oh, turned perfect. the right way. All right, you're good. Ah. The sound guy's got to be loving me today. Teamwork, yay. <laughs> Do it. That's plenty. Good. Beautiful. Best skateboard ever. All right, which way you want this to go? You want you want the handle end on the spinny end, I would imagine. Right? Sure. That makes sense to me. Yeah. All right. And the way this is made, if we had to, we could easily switch the handle. Yeah, it wouldn't be the end of the world to have to swap it out. I know this goes in here. Yeah, I got mine lined up. Ah, okay. It just took me a second to figure out. Let me just lift it up that side. Shut up, Batman. There. Watch your oh, and that holds it right in there. There. All right. Uh, we got all these extra screws. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we want to. I get easy a to turn it upside down. I get. Yeah, we can turn it upside. Down. Squeeze it here. Yep. Oh, we oh. can't. We can't. Which way are you going? This there. way. Okay. Oh, and failed. now they all fell out again. I only, my side held in just fine. All right. This is an excellent job to put a screwdriver. I'll, I'll yeah. a, okay. Screw you do that. Get a long one. Hey, Batman. Hey, Batman. Yeah. Get a number three. I already did. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Okay. They're they're just they're really big. You could do it with a two, but a three would probably be a little bit better. With a really long extension. 
Well, number three, this is the longest I got for it. All right. Should be good. Give it a shot. Ah. Does that fit all right? Yeah. Okay. No, not really, actually. That is a number two it hole. It is a number two? Yeah. Okay. Grab a number two. I'm just getting them started. I'm a helper. Hey, this top piece yeah. is used for different designs. See how it's got the different set of holes in it? All right. Those holes match these holes. I'm sure they use the same kind of mold. put them in cockeyed, so. Hey, Batman! It's done! Now, always remember, when you assemble your American Forge and Foundry card. Now hang on, where, where was that thing of the rules? Oh yeah, these. All right. Now these say, now this specifically states, rule number 11, do not allow children to play on, stand upon, or climb on the service cart. The service cart is not for carrying people or animals. Mm -hmm. Okay, children. Children. Well, it also says not designed for carrying So people. I totally get to ride the cart. Okay. Right. Um, it also says that you should never put uh, too much weight in this. Okay. Absolute maximum load is 500 pounds, and that's equally distributed. Right. You want to see if it'll hold you? Are you saying I weigh 500 pounds? Not yet, but give it a couple months. We'll get there. Can can you balance your big ass on that? I'm balancing my big ass. Okay. On. Now let's let's see how it handles. Like butter. Yeah. This is. This is fine. I wouldn't recommend people do this because right. lawyers, but the fact that I can put you on it, and it's, it's, you know, it's top heavy as hell. I wouldn't right. want to go four-wheeling with this, but I can move this with one hand. So it's, it's quite lovely. Yeah, quite lovely. Boop. Get off the damn cart. So that's it. What's the model number? We've got to show people. This is the model 961 polypropylene shop cart, and it's 30 by 16. So this is great for around the lab. It'll fit through any of the doors, no problems. Do you have any, because you're the tool guy. This will actually probably be more uh, machine shop with Casey and his parts. Yeah? And when I need parts, and it'll, it'll be parts mostly. I like the seamless. Mm -hmm. If you goopy, won't run out. So cool. All right, we want to thank you guys for watching. I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Andrew Harwood. And we want to thank all the guys over at American Forge and Foundry for helping us out with all kinds of fun stuff. You can get any of this at their website, AmericanForgeAndFoundry.com, right there. And check them out. Tell them we sent you. You guys have fun. We'll be back. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.